Dyson, a British home appliance manufacturer, is developing robots. The company unveiled a secret prototype at the International Conference on Robotics and Automation in Philadelphia, USA. This is just a part of the developments that Dyson keeps quiet. The company is actively hiring experts in computer vision, machine learning, sensors, and mechatronics. The manufacturer of vacuum cleaners and hair dryers now intends to hire 250 engineers to develop its robotics business. Another 700 specialists will be involved in the project in the next five years. Eventually, the technology is promised to be implemented in homes by the end of the decade. In the announcement, Dyson showed a robotic arm to which various attachments are attached. The autonomous home assistant will be able to vacuum the couch, pick up children's toys, or pull plates out of the dryer. Let's remember, Dyson decided to bet on robotics a long time ago. Two years ago it announced plans to invest $3.45 billion in the industry. Dyson's devices use modern technologies and machine learning algorithms, which in the future will bring the technology to perfection. The company announced a robot cleaner in September last year. The company also announced that it was capable of interacting with various household surfaces and items. For example, it can move cups or handles, as well as open cupboard doors. Analysts were skeptical about the announcement then, as the technology manufacturer often works on ambitious projects, but only a few reach the final stages. The research center is located in the UK at Hollivington Airfield. Earlier there was the development of the Dyson electric car, which was cancelled. The car is still not destined to hit the market, because the project was shut down in October last year due to its unprofitability, Dyson spent £500 million of its savings on the development. It was planned that the range of the car on a single charge will be about 1,000 kilometers, almost twice as much as the Tesla Model S can travel. Two 536 horsepower electric motors would provide acceleration from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 4.8 seconds. The body of the car, which reminds a Range Rover, is made of aluminum. Its dimensions are 5 meters long, 2 meters wide, and 1.7 meters high. It weighs 2.6 tons. The tricks of the crossover should be the front windshield, which effectively tilts, like in Ferrari, as well as the biggest wheels among the production cars. The interior is also curious. The prototype has thin seats with segmented cushions for better lumbar support and a display in place of the dashboard, which, according to Dyson, hovers in front of the driver's face like a hologram. Every car sales had to bring in £150,000 in profit to cover the expenses. Now the head of the company is open to offers from other automakers to use branded solid-state batteries, which are more efficient and compact than lithium-ion batteries. However, Dyson will return to developing its car only if the project proves to be commercially viable.